Hello everyone, if you are tracking your daily expenses, managing projects or scheduling appointments, then you know how important it is to sort the excel sheet by date. You can easily sort your excel sheet by one click. So this is Jihad Rian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to sort excel sheet by date. In our first case, we want to sort Excel sheet in chronological order. In this case, we have name and joining date in column B and C. Now, at first, we want to sort the Excel sheet in chronological order for joining dates. So, we will select the whole column of joining date and after that, we will go to the data menu bar and now we have to click on the sort option. Now you have a warning section where we will select the expand the selection option and click on the sort. In the sort dialog box you have to select the order from oldest to newest or newest to oldest. As I am trying to get the oldest to newest so select it and click ok. Then you will see that your whole data excel sheet have been sorted according to your wish. In our second case, we want to sort the excel sheet by date. And to do that, at first we have to select the entire excel sheet. So we can easily press Ctrl A to set the whole data range. And then we have to go to the data option like the previous method. And now we can easily select the sort option. Now in the sort dialog box, you can easily select name or joining date according to your wish. And then you have to select from A to Z or Z to A. After clicking OK, you will see that your whole data set have been sorted according to your wish. In our new case, we want to sort Excel sheet by month. And to do that, we have a new column called joining month. So in the D5 cell, at first, we will write down the function month. Now, after that, we will select the serial number that means from where we want to pull the month. So select the joining date and press the enter button. Now you'll see the formula has already extracted only the month number from the joining date. Now if you copy down the formula then you'll see every cell will give you the proper joining month from the date. Now if you want to sort them at first to select the whole column then you have to go to the data menu bar and then select the sort option like the previous method and after clicking sort the dialog box will get open now you will can easily select from largest to smallest or smallest to largest now if you select it and press ok then you will see your whole data set have been sorted according to your wish in our new case we want to sort the excel sheet by year and to do that, we'll select the year function. So we'll go to the D5 cell and write down the function year. And after that, we have to select the serial number, which is C5. And now if you press the enter button, then you'll see the formula has extracted only the year number. And now if you copy down the formula to apply it to all the cells, then you'll see every cell will give you the proper joining year from the joining date. Now, like the previous method, if you go to the data option and select the sort, then you'll see the sort dialog box will get open. And now you have to select from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. After clicking OK, you will see your whole data set have been sorted according to your wish. In our new case, we want to sort Excel sheet by weekday. And to do that, we will write down weekday in our D5 cell. And after that, we have to select serial number, which is the input value. And after pressing enter, you will see the formula has given us the number of the day of the joining date. Now, if you copy down the formula, then you will see every weekend day have been given here. Now, if you want to sort, then like the previous methods, you will go to the sort option and after pressing the sort option, you have to select smallest to large or largest to smallest. And now if you press the OK option, 
the whole data set have been sorted according to the weekday. In our new case, we want to sort Excel sheet by both month and date. And to do that, we have to use a new function called the text option. Now, if we go to the D5 cell and write down the text function, then you have to get two parameters, which is value and format text. In the value option, you will get the joining date of C5 cell. And now you have to get the format also. As I am trying to get the date, so I'll write down the date and then a full stop and now have the month. So I'll write down the month. And now in the double quotation and now press the enter button. Now you will see your set of month and date have been extracted from the joining date. Now copy down the formula to get the whole data set. Now if you want to go and sort the data set then we'll go to the data option and sort from oldest to newest or newest to oldest. Now click on the sort option and your whole data set have been sorted according to your wish. In our last case, we want to sort Excel sheet by month name. To do that, at first, we have a new column called joining month where every joining month number already has inserted. So we have to select the whole column, then go to the data bar like the previous method and select the sort option. After clicking the sort, you have a dialog box and in the order section, you have many options from January to December or December to January. You can select any of them and then you will have to press the OK option. Now you'll see the whole data set have been sorted according to month name. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly. Hope this will help you. If you have any suggestions, questions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelimi.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing us for more content like this.